talk about an offensive explosion. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Philly Sets of Video Cash Here Recap in this afternoon's game between the Philly Phillies and the Milwaukee Brewers. As the Phillies defeat the Brewers by a final score of 12 to nothing on offensive explosion this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Just unbelievable. I mean, thank you guys for bringing in this video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please share the notification bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and let's get into this. I mean, what a way to come off of a uh, series loss to the Miami Marlins, where you come out uh, at American Family Field and you have an offensive explosion in game one of this three game series. Uh, by, by winning it 12 to nothing. I mean, this was a dominating performance we saw out of the Phils this afternoon. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Pussing off 12 runs on the board. Uh, awesome job out of the Phils this afternoon. I was so impressed, right? You know, Bryce Harper hitting a home run. Freddie Galvez going deep again. Uh, I tell you, the home runs are starting to come down for Freddie Galvez. He's starting to heat up. That's why you see more playing time. So great job out of the Phillies. I mean, able to shut out your opponent like that on the road. I mean, awesome job. You're able to win on Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. I understand this video is getting out past midnight. I apologize, right? I'm helping my parents move, right? I mean, I, I'm very, very busy right now. Had work. Uh, I got out around, you know, 9.30, had to drive home. I mean, I'm just extremely, extremely busy right now. Uh, so hope you all understand that, right? I do have some priorities over this. I mean, I, I'm very, very busy right now in my life. And yes, I still have time to sit down and make the, you know, these videos. Uh, but just understand that I have a lot going on right now. So I apologize to anyone who is upset with me getting these videos out late. I understand your frustration. Uh, but uh, you know, I'm not saying anybody said anything. No one did say anything. I'm just you know saying to anyone who's maybe upset about these videos getting out late. I'm sorry. I just have a lot going on right now. But uh, getting back to this game, you have Zach Wheeler uh, going six innings. I would like to see him go a little bit more. But I understand. Yes, I mean he's trying to preserve his arm a little bit. Uh, but uh, he did well today. He did well, uh, especially go take a look at his past couple starts prior to this start. But definitely a better start this afternoon. As you pick up the scoring summary in the top of the first inning, it all started as Bryce Harper, uh, the MVP, MV3, as he homers on a fly ball to right center field. A, a two inch out also scores Gene Segura. And the Phillies then laid it two to nothing. So 28 home runs now for Bryce Harper. Uh, I love this because uh, he's in striking distance of possibly getting 35 home runs for this season, right? So he did it in 2019. And listen, ladies and gentlemen, he had 10 home runs in the month of August, right? Now, if you would have said in you know mid July or heck even mid June, hey, Bryce Harper's going to finish off this year with 35 home runs, you think like, <laughs> you got to be kidding me? You're out of your mind if you think that he could finish off the season with 35 home runs. Well, we're hitting here now on, well, of course, the this video is going to be getting out on September 6th, right in you know, the middle of the night, uh, September 6th, and he is in striking distance of that, ladies and gentlemen. If he could stay out, if he could do something what he did last month, which I could totally see him doing, the home runs are starting to come for Bryce Harper ever since the All-Star break. He sits at 28 home runs. He definitely has a good shot at getting 35. Uh, there's no question about it. If you can get, you know, around 85 RBIs, that's, a, that's an MVP season, right? You go take a look at his average. You go take a look at his OBS. You go take a look at his own base percentage. MVP numbers. Uh, very, very not, not as close as to MVP 2015. Nothing will ever go close to that. I mean, that was just, and that's a lot to ask for. But I would say it's the second best year of his career. I mean, he has a good chance. Of course, he's going to get at least like 32. Uh, but he definitely has a chance of getting 35. I would love to see that. You know, around 85 RBIs, that is doable. That is 100% doable. He still basically has another month. I believe the season ends around October 3rd. Uh, so he pretty much has a, a whole month, uh, pretty much. You know, not, not exactly uh, to hit seven more home runs, which he definitely can do. Bryce Harper's the kind of guy can, you know, can go on a stretch like that. But nothing about Bryce. I just want to say that. So I love that. As we pick it up here in the top of the second inning, Freddie Galvis, another one. As he homers on a fly ball to right field, his third since rejoining the Phils. Uh, he's been hitting some homers recently. He's 12th of the season overall. Off of Brandon Woodruff at the Phils is absolutely destroyed this afternoon, which you love to see. And it's now a 3-0 ball game. So Freddie Galvis with a solo shot. 
Um, so that ball was hit very, very high. They pick it up tough at the fourth inning. A Nola solo shot as Brad Miller break out the bamboo. I'd love to see him hit 20 this year. He homers on a fly ball to right center field. Like I said, his 16th of the season, a solo shot, and it's now a 4-0 Phillies lead. So uh, bamboo Brad break out the bamboo plant right now. Uh, so it's nice to see that out of Brad Miller. Here we pick it up, tap the eighth inning. Here we go, right? I mean, it's only a 4 nothing ball game prior to this. I mean, we went off. We went off as Andrew McCutcheon. Uh, he almost on a fly ball to left center field. His 24th of the season. Um, so a great job right there from Cotra, you know, doing a little point out to the outfield. I mean, just love to see that. Uh, he is awesome, right? I, I love this guy. I mean, it, it kind of, I'm really, really going to miss. Like, I love Andrew Kutcher. I love his swagger. I mean, he's, he probably honestly has more swagger than Bryce Harper. I mean, that picture of him with the all Marine uniform from July of 2019 against the Braves, with him holding that cup of coffee and with the zipper pulled down, that is one of the greatest photos I think I've ever seen. Uh, that is just pure swagger. Uh, with the sunglasses, oh my goodness gracious, that's so him. I love that. I uh, never, never will get that image out of my head. I love that image. Um, so, great job right there out of Andrew Kutcher. Give the Phillies a 5 nothing lead, 24th home run of the year for Kutcher. We pick it up here in the same inning. Ronald Torres singles on a ground ball to left field. Uh, David Gregorius comes around to score. It's now a 6 nothing Phillies lead. It's a big toe doing some damage right there. You like to see that, right? You know, we have been some concerns with Ronald Torres, right? Cooling off a little bit. Then in the same inning, some bad defense. Uh, from the Brewers, Daniel Norris. So, do we here to ground ball right back to him. And the throw to second base is wild, right? It was wild. As Ronald well, Torres was called safe at second as the Brewers challenged the play. The call was upheld. Uh, Ronald Torres was ruled safe at second. And Brad Miller comes around two scores. Now a 7 nothing Phillies lead. So, some bad defense right there from the Brewers. Like I just discussed, Daniel Norris. Get smacked with the throwing air. Well, well deserved, Daniel Norris. Then Gene Segura with a grand salami as he gets a grand slam to left center field to score. Jankowski, Therese, and Herrera as the Phillies now lead it eleven to nothing. Awesome job, awesome job. Um, so you love to see that, ladies and gentlemen. And then Brad Miller here in the top of the ninth inning. His second of the ball game, 17th of the season overall. That's why I was talking about 20 home runs. I mean, pretty much over this next, I mean, almost month right now, exactly, a little less than a month. All he has is just, him, just three more home runs, right, to get to 20. So he sits at 17 now after this one. As he over Sunday, flat ball two right center field. Second of the ball game, 17th of the season. And it's only 12 nothing Phillies lead. I mean, you've got to resign Brad Miller. I understand he's streaky, but as a bench bat, I mean, have a bench bat like this, I mean, coming off your bench, I mean, that's good, right? I mean, that is good. I mean, I like to see him resigned. Uh, I would really like to see that. So a 12 nothing Phillies lead. And Abel, hey, remember that score? 12 nothing is your final. As the Phillies win on Labor Day. And the Duper Her Elias spot does collect one hit uh, with that uh, lucky RBI, right? I mean, with that, uh, that throwing error from Danny Norris, that fielder's choice uh, went down as. And uh, Gene Segura, three hits this afternoon with the Grand Slam, also scoring two runs. Bryce Harper, the only one hit, was a big one uh, to get the fills on the board early with that two run shot. I already talked enough about Bryce. I've done my daily Bryce. Uh, you know, talk, right? I mean, <laughs> and uh, J.G. Mutu gets to start behind him, play, collects two hits. Nice to see that. And we just get that average up to 270 JT. And uh, Andrew McCutcheon with that nice solo shot. I love to see that out of Kutch. Uh, vintage Kutch right there. And uh, Brad Miller, three hits this afternoon. The two solo home runs. He had a very, very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Also scoring three runs. Didi Gregorius continues to do absolutely nothing. Freddy Galvez, only one hit was a big one. That solo shot another home run from Freddy Galvez. That time it was from the left side of the plate. Um, so uh, I love to see that. And Ronald Torres, a very, very good day today as well. Right, collecting two hits. Uh, also with that RBI single, gets his average now back up to 254. Did drop below that 250 mark. Um, so nice to see him uh, climb that average back up a little bit. He's going to get Zach Wheeler start. Six innings, five hits. Didn't allow any runs. Uh, didn't walk a batter. And struck out nine. So he just struck out nine. Look at that this. He struck out nine. Nine. In just six innings. I mean, that's just insane. That is just insane. Zach Wheeler, despite, I mean, not really going, you know, really going to mileage in the start, right? Only six innings. 
he did his job in six innings. I guarantee you that. Striking out nine. Uh, his stuff looked pretty good. I was pretty impressed with his stuff. I mean, he had a pretty good start. I mean, uh, you know, I love that fastball, right? In D.C., he wasn't really using it for some reason. Remember, it, it just was weird. It just was weird. He wasn't really throwing that fastball out in Washington. Uh, but uh, he seemed to you know, be using it a little bit more today. And it seemed to work out well for him. Striking out nine, he looked good. I mean, uh, I mean, his secondary stuff just isn't as good as his. It's just I just love that fastball. I just love it. Uh, you know, this this his age. You still, it's not like he's thirty seven, but you know, it's his age. I mean, past TJ, he's, he's still able to throw out that high velo, right? I mean, close to hundred. I love it. Just blow up by guys. I love it. I mean, you and you know, it's two strike guys doing his fastball. I love that. And uh, they were just way late on it. And uh, Hector Neris. Uh, you know, I gotta give him credit. I saw the stat from Alex Carr. Uh, you know, with the Hector Neris's uh, career uh, stats, uh, and uh, you know, I said with the Phils. I mean, he's only spent his whole career with the Phils. Uh, you know, a career array around 330. Uh, you know, he's had a good career. Yes, I mean, as a reliever, he's had a pretty good career. To have a career array like that, I mean, that's pretty decent, right? He has ups and down seasons. Like in 2018, he was awful, right? 2016, I look, is a very, very good year for Hector Neris. Uh, I, I remember that 2016 season. That was very, very good. And even this year, right? I mean, ERA at 3-3-2. Uh, 2019 was all right, right? He, he was kind of a little bit inconsistent that year. Uh, but to overall, that was still a pretty good year for Hector. Matt Moore, two innings out of the bullpen uh, today. And this is the perfect time to use Matt Moore. I mean, good job, Joe Girardi, right? I, seriously, good job by Joe Girardi. This is a good time to use Matt Moore uh, today in this kind of situation. Uh, so he goes two innings. Uh, you look pretty good. Uh, walked one and struck out three and didn't allow a hit. And uh, this Phillies pitching staff today only allowed six hits. Six uh, so uh, Hector is only allowed one, and uh, of course uh, Zach, we were allowing five. So uh, that is your ball game. Twelve up in your final score. A just a commanding victory for the Phils today. They are now seventy-one and sixty-six. Is they are now just one and a half games out of first place. I mean, can you just believe this? I mean, it's just like wow. I mean, it wasn't. It's not like the Phils are you know playing horrendous baseball, but they're not definitely not uh, you know playing you know outstanding baseball. Of course, this is a, I would definitely say this is an outstanding victory today. If you can win the series in Milwaukee, I, that's why it pains it pains me that we did not take two out of three from the Marlins. So kind of seriously, because you've been seeing October baseball. There's no question about it. We talked about that last year. The Phils, all they had to do is just win one more game. They would have made it in the 2020 postseason, but you know. We're not here to talk about that. That is in the past. It's in the rearview mirror. Uh, but uh, it seems like the Phillies just find a way to uh, lose sometimes. But now five games above 500. Um, so the Braves, unfortunately, did win today. But uh, how about the Mets, right? I mean, letting the Nets walk them off, right? I mean, not only did I mention uh, that they had a 9 nothing lead the other day, and they ended up blowing it. Yes, I understand they won that game, but you can't blow a 9 nothing lead uh, to one of the worst teams in baseball. I mean, the Washington Nationals. Uh, and, uh, I mean, their offense is depleted. I mean, not only is their pitching staff de de even more depleted, uh, they're off that's a bad offense. If you take Juan Soto out of the lineup, that's, a, that's like one of the worst offenses in baseball. I mean, honestly, Juan Soto is pretty much the only reason why they're, you know, somewhat relevant. They're really not even that relevant to begin with, but if Juan Soto wasn't there, i tell you what. I mean, he even said he'll take it year by year, but, I mean, that's, that's embarrassing if they're the New York Mets. Uh, they are now 69 and 69. Uh, so uh, I'd like to hear uh, some Mets fans down in the comments section. Um, and they're not going to, you know, talk too much uh, smack uh, because the Phils are kind of in a similar situation. You know, their, their playoff job is just insane. So, uh, 740 the first pitch tomorrow night. Aaron Nola, 7-7 and with a 4-5-4 ERA. And uh, Lara on the mound for Milwaukee. A 3-4-3 ERA. So, what a great job to totally light up Brandon Woodruff, who's won one of the best pitchers in the National League this year. I forgot to talk about that, too. I mean, you totally destroyed that guy. Ah, uh, so great job, Phils. Great job. I mean, that was a very good offensive performance today. I mean, no question, you have to score 12 runs. I mean, it's got to be a good offensive performance, right? So this offense, as we discussed, is hot and cold. It wasn't really there in Miami, but came alive this afternoon in Milwaukee. So guys, if you're interested in watching this video, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please share your bell. Please like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Check out the social media. Link is in the section. At Philly Sounds, of Instagram, check the Instagram. Call or text 267-225-3292. Email it. Phillies has to vet gmail.com. So some, some exciting news. Uh, a website, a sort of website has been launched for Phillies Hat Stove. Still, still trying to work on, uh, you know, trying to get it, uh, you know, the final logistics set up for it. But, yes, it's pretty much up. Uh, details to follow. Um, so uh, I'm really, really excited about that. I had a guy help me, up, help me out and do it. I really uh, like to thank him for that. 
Um, so I also know Phillies has the Vot Line video this week. There's too busy. I apologize for that. I uh, start school on Wednesday. Uh, not to mention I have to help my parents move. I got work. I'm just I might be back next week. Uh, it probably will. Uh, but just uh, I'm going to skip be skipping that this week. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm Luke, and I'll talk to you later. Let's go, Phil. So I'll see you guys.